Monday Mars with conservation tips. Today we're going to be talking about heat pumps. So what is a heat pump? Well, the simple answer is that it heats and cools your home. But how does it work? Well, let's uh, take this example and see if this can help a little bit. Now, if you ever got your hands, say, wet outside and you notice that all of a sudden it starts getting pretty chilly out there, well, it's because the heat of your hand is actually evaporating the water and changing it into a vapor. And this is a similar process that goes on in your heat pump and then it takes heat from one area and then uses a vapor to transfer it to another area. During the cooling cycle, your system will remove heat and humidity from your home and will transfer this heat to the outdoor air. During the heating cycle, your system will remove heat from the outdoor air and will transfer this heat to your home. This is possible because even when it is below freezing outside, the air contains a great deal of heat. Remember that your heat pump doesn't generate much heat, it merely transfers it from one place to another. Now a heat pump provides you more uniform heat throughout a structure. It doesn't even that blast of hot air like your old furnaces do whenever they would kick on. It gives you more even heat spread out throughout longer periods of cycling on the furnace, but as a result of this it helps de-stratify the temperatures in your home. Now a heat pump's going to need a backup furnace because when it gets down about 20 degrees, it might not provide you the warmth that you're accustomed to. The thing about the backup heater though is it's more expensive to operate, so we want to use that heat pump as much as we can, so you need to become a good operator of your heat pump to get your most savings. Setting your thermostat to the lowest comfortable temperature in the winter time is the best approach to conserving energy. Energy Star recommends a temperature of 68 degrees during the heating season. Many thermostats have an indicator or light that lets you know when the backup heat is on. It may be labeled emergency or auxiliary. Generally, you should see this light on only during very cold days. A heat pump doesn't have the capacity to recover from the lower setback temperature quickly. Frequent or drastic changes to your thermostat setting may cause you to use more energy. Avoid increasing your thermostat setting by more than one or two degrees at a time. When your heat pump is operating in the cooling mode, you can adjust your thermostat setting up or down without worrying about additional systems coming on. For economical operation, however, Energy Star recommends a temperature of 78 degrees in the cooling season. Well, I hope these tips haven't scared you away from getting a heat pump. If you need to replace your uh, furnace with a new system, you need to consider getting one of these. You can save from 20 to 50 percent on your uh, heating cost, especially if you learn how to operate it correctly. Now, Columbia Water and Light offers rebates, low interest loans, and a special winter electric rate for installing a high efficiency heat pump. Well, I'm David Mars, and I encourage you to check into these heat pumps so you can save energy, save money, and help to save our environment. And well, I'll see you next time.